Hey guys, what's up? It's Ed. Uh, today's quest guide is going to be for the Waterfall quest. Um, to start this quest, there's no requirements, um, but you may need a little bit of HP uh, just to get past some fire giants. That's about it, though. Um, you're going to need six air runes, six water, and six earth, but I brought a couple extra just in case. Uh, a rope, and then the game's necklace and the ring of dueling is just for... Uh, teleporting and to get here you just go south from Barbarian Outpost and you can easily get there with the game's necklace Barbarian Outpost and then just run south and, until you get to this little house uh, once you're here you're going to talk to a Lemuria to start the quest alright so once you start she's going to tell you a bunch of crap and uh, you gotta go find her son. So you're gonna go uh, down this raft and you'll see his little ass over there. Uh, the dialogue will come up. Okay, so he's gonna bitch. Um, use your rope with this rock down here and you should make it across and once you are here you are going to use your rope now with the tree and then get into the barrel don't go inside the door because you'll just get washed down uh, and then if you go in the barrel you'll safely go down so if you want to take some damage you can just try to go inside uh, then you're gonna run over to this house that's right here on the side and you're going to talk to this duty in here. And just, you know, go through all this shit. <coughs> Is there a treasure under the waterfall? Okay, so he's not very useful. Okay, so once you uh, talk to him, you're going to go upstairs, and we're going to search around his bookshelf until we find the Book of Baxtorian. Yeah, you could read that if you want, but I prefer not to. Um, now, if you have a, uh, what is this thing called, a Ring of Dueling, you can go to Castle Wars and get to the next place pretty uh, quickly. I'm just going to show you where it is on my mini-map, because if I actually walk there, this video will be very long. And, uh, I don't want this to be too long. Okay, so, using the, uh, Ring of Dueling to go to Castle Wars, you'll be here, and where you want to go is right at the entrance to this maze. And, uh, once you get to the maze, you're going to go through the maze till you get to the red exclamation point, this dungeon here. And, uh, if you can't find your way through the maze, you probably fail at life and you need to go do something else with your life because it's not that fucking just so you guys can see this is what the maze looks like is this what the entrance is like and really you're just trying to go east and then south and then west um, I'm not gonna go through the whole maze because it's really just fucking clicking and then your guy will run there uh, my guy's being a little bit of an artard right now but yeah, it's very easy. Just look at your mini map. Look where the dead ends are. No, they actually they actually made it a little bit uh different. Okay, so once you have made it to the entrance, you're going to climb on down, and you're going to look for a little room to the east with some crates in it, and I think it's this one. It's the ones that are kind of different color than all the other ones. You're going to search those and then climb into this tunnel. Uh, oh, we have to do... Uh, we have to go... The, the key is for a gate that is over here. 
So uh, after you get the key, go to the other room, and this is the part that you might need some food because I only have 30 HP. So uh, a couple of good hits on me, and I get I get down pretty low. Uh, that's the uh, gate that you're gonna use the key on, and then talk to the guy in there. Talk to Glory. <laughs> And uh, he's going to give you a pebble. Okay, so for this next part, you got to bank all of your items except for your pebble. Um, I think you can keep your rope, too. And I'll show you what to do after that. Alright, so we're back at Barbarian Outpost. And what you're going to do is run south again from Barbarian Outpost. Uh, if you ever done the quest of the Dwarf Cannon, that's kind of the area you're heading to. You're going to the grave where you're going to use this pebble. And I'm pretty sure you cannot bring food down there. I just can't remember correctly. If that's the case, I'm just going to drop it on the floor. I know I can't bring my game's necklace either, but I'm going to drop that outside and then try to run back up quickly to grab it uh, so I can bank faster. <clears throat> but you basically can't bring any armor, weapons, or anything. And this is the tomb right here. So let's try with food and see what happens. Oh, I have to drop this. Oh. Okay, I guess you can bring a, a game's necklace too. So first, just run past all these monsters. Uh, holy shit. And you're going to open the uh, chest. Search it. You'll get Glorial's amulet. Then just head down here, the southern passage, and search the tomb to get the urn. And uh, these are the items you're going to need for getting inside the waterfall. Alright, so we're going to bail out of here now. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just go back to the bank. Um, there's going to be a lot of fire giants. I mean, if you have, like, a good combat level, you don't really need anything. But I, as I've said, I'm level 48, so I'm going to bring extra food and stuff. But uh, if, you, if you're a good combat level, you probably won't need any food or anything. Uh, maybe some, like, trout or something just to be safe. And what you're going to do is you're going to head back to that raft where you first started. And uh, I'm not going to really show you how to get there because you should already know if you fucking just did it ten minutes ago. And uh, that's where I'll meet you guys. Do not forget your runes. You need uh, the earth <coughs> and water and air. And then I'm going to bring some of these. Okay, so now that we are back at the entrance, um, I'm going to say that you should probably wear the amulet. I'm not sure if you have to, but... I would uh, wear it, and then once you enter, go northeast room, and you're going to get another key from another crate. I think that's the second time in this quest that you've had to do something like that. Uh, it's actually the double stacked one, I think. Alright, once you get that, you're going to go directly west, and I'm sorry I'm doing this fast, but I can't really spare time. Don't want to get killed. And there's a little room right there. Open the door. With the key, of course. Open the door again. With this key, I'm guessing. Strategically placed. And we are in the, the dwellings. So basically what you gotta do is, on each pillar you gotta use one room. Room. And uh, there's six pillars, so you're gonna need six of each room. And I'm not gonna do every single one on video, because it's kinda common sense. Uh, just try to try not to forget any, because then it's gonna be kind of annoying to go back. But yeah, that's it. Okay, now it's time to uh, use Glorial's amulet on the statue of Glorial. <coughs> And 
these stairs will appear and you can take the treasure oh my god I'm an idiot okay uh, do not I repeat do not grab the fucking holy water use your urine on it there you go if you do what I did um that sucks and you have to walk back okay so yeah basically that's the reward if you are one attack and one strength it looks like it gets you to 30 in both which is pretty nice and um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide from me I have other quest guides on my channel that you can check out and uh yeah that's it. Peace out.